this is the part 4 of our MCQ series in which we are discussing previous test questions from net environmental science. So let's begin the lesson. The first question is which of the following material is not easily broken down? And the options are cellulose, hemicellulose, chitin, amino acids. So the correct answer is option C, chitin. So chitin is a favorite substance consisting of polysaccharides which is the major constituent in the exoskeleton of arthropods and the cell walls of fungi. So the exoskeleton, the outer layer of the arthropods are made up of this substance known as chitin and the cell walls of fungi are also composed of chitin component. So these are not easily broken down hence are the strongest among all these four options. Moving on to the second question, Pleistocene represents the period of option A cold climate, B warm climate, C alteration of cold and warm climate with high proportion of cold period or option D alteration of cold and warm climate with high proportion of warm period. So let's check the correct answer and the correct answer is option 3 that is Pleistocene represents the period of alteration of cold and warm climate with high proportion of cold period. So in Pleistocene period, the proportion of cold period is higher as compared to the warm climate. Next moving on to the third question. The third question says GIS is applied to study option A view shade analysis, option B environmental impact assessment, option C wildlife habitat analysis and migration routes planning or option D for all of the above. So we should know GIS that is geographic information system is used for all of the above. So it is also used for view shed analysis, used for environmental impact assessment that is EIA and also used for wildlife habitat analysis and migration routes planning for animals. So the fourth question is the characteristic difference between two polarized caps is before that we should know the two polar ice caps means the arctic ice cap and the antarctic ice cap here are the options and the correct option is option number b so option b says the antarctic ice cap is on land is the correct option among the four so antarctica or the antarctic ice cap is a continent surrounded by oceans while the arctic ice cap or the arctic continent is an ocean surrounded by continents and countries. So you should know Antarctic ice cap is on land whereas Arctic ice cap is not on land it is on ocean. So next moving on to the fifth question. Laterite represent which kind of soil? So the options are regolith soil, glacial soil, black cotton soil or red soil. So the correct answer is option A regolith soil. So laterite kind of soil are kind of regolith soil. The sixth question is the mineral most resistant to chemical weathering is option A olivine, option B quartz, option C feldspar or option D biotite. So the correct answer is option B quartz. So quartz is a mineral which is most resistant to the chemical weathering because the composition of quartz is silicon and oxygen atoms so they are very highly bonded together that's why they are the most resistant chemical weathering mineral so this is the photograph representing the structure of a quartz question 7 is an assertion reason type question in which the assertion says phosphorus cycle is not an exogenic elemental cycle and the reason given for this assertion is Phosphorus cycle does not have a gaseous component. So we have to choose accordingly which of the correct option. And the correct option is option number A. Because both assertion and reason in this question are true. And the reason given why phosphorus is not an exogenic elemental cycle. Because phosphorus cycle does not have a gaseous component. So we don't find phosphorus in our atmosphere in gaseous phase. Because it is endogenic elemental cycle it has endogenic elemental cycle and it is found in the solid phase so next moving on to our eighth question 
एट क्वेश्चन इज द एल नीनो डिसअपियर्स इन मार्च एंड अगेन रीअपियर्स इन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग मंथ्स सो यू शुड नो दैट एल नीनो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ रूटीन क्लाइमेट पैटर्न दैट अकर्स वेन सी सर्फेस टेम्परेचर्स इन द ट्रॉपिकल पैसिफिक ओशन राइजेस टू अब नॉर्मल लेवल्स फॉर एन एक्सटेंडेड पीरियड ऑफ टाइम सो हियर वी शुड नो दैट ट्रॉपिकल पैसिफिक ओशन वेन द सी सर्फेस राइज इन द टेम्परेचर then the above normal levels then el nino happens and it is a routine climate pattern so when it disappears in march it also again reappears in the month of december so this is also important as per as net environmental science exam is concerned question number 9 says the elemental composition of earth's crust in the descending order of weight percentage is here are the options given so we should tell in descending order which of the element is present in which weight quantity in earth's crust here the correct option is option number a because silicon is present in the maximum quantity in earth's crust after that followed by aluminium then followed by iron and calcium so we have discussed this in our previous lessons in season 1 of this mcq series where we know that in crust oxygen has the maximum content after that silicon and then aluminium as in this option oxygen was not given so we have to give priority to silicon then aluminium then iron and calcium similarly mantle of our earth is made up of magnesium and iron whereas the core has the highest percentage of iron and followed by the nickel element the 10th question is global warming potential of a greenhouse gas that is ghg is a factor comparing the global warming impacts of options are 1 meter cube of greenhouse gas with 1 meter cube of carbon dioxide or 1 kg of greenhouse gas with 1 kg of carbon dioxide or 1 gram mole of greenhouse gas with 1 gram mole of carbon dioxide or finally the option d says 1 kg of greenhouse gas with 1 mole of carbon dioxide so here the correct answer will be option b that is 1 kg of greenhouse gas is compared with 1 kg of carbon dioxide to know its global warming potential and we know the global warming potential of carbon dioxide is considered as 1 which is the reference for any other greenhouse gases so according to this the greenhouse gas are considered that whether their global warming potential is higher or lower So thank you everyone this was the lesson and stay tuned for the fifth lesson of this MCQ series Tony finishes off in style a magnificent strike into the crowd India lift the world cup